As a player, you got to do the little things. You got to square up. You got to box out. You got to do all that stuff and not get ahead of yourself. Stay fundamental. Go back to the things that you know against teams that are this talented. Cameron Brink, the All-American, wins the tip. Stanford with the ball going from our right to left just underway here on a Sunday afternoon. Opportunity would be the key word, I would say, for the University of Hawaii here today. I don't think anybody's expecting them to pull up the shocker. And if you get the rebound, fought for by Hawaii, but just want to see them compete. Yeah, and as Beeman mentioned, she want, you want to grow in every game, however that, that comes, whether it's... You know, as, as ball handlers, reducing turnovers, whatever it is, you want to see something positive come out of this. Note Imani Perez, the freshman there with the ball number 12, her first start of the year. She's been getting a lot of minutes. They go bigger tonight with her, Scott. Nice rebound underneath by Emai. We'll bring it back out, reset the offense. We got one eye on the basketball game. Just want to let everybody know we also have one eye on the NCAA volleyball show, selection show. Rebound comes off to the Cardinal. And so once we find out where and who Hawaii is playing, nice job defensively underneath by Perez. We'll pass that along to you. I am, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been so impressed with Imani Perez. Has played at really high levels as a club player. In fact, played with Lauren Betts, the six-seven freshman that we'll see tonight for Stanford. That was a nice rebound. Spiller for three. She's got it. Spiller's been playing well this weekend. As we take a look at the starting lineups, which will be scrolling at the bottom of your screen, brought to you by Hawaiian Financial FCU starting lineups. There you go. Steal by Lily Wahine Kapu, the quick hands by the freshman. Of course, Wahine Kapu transferring back home after a year at Cal State Fullerton, where she was the Big West Conference Freshman of the Year. But this is a Hawaii team that obviously is off to a bit of a slow start at one in five. Phillips' short jumper rolls and falls out. And the rebound comes off to the Cardinal. Couple of good looking mid range jump shots there. Hawaii yet to knock it down. Imai and Phillips both. That one won't drop for Haley Jones, the All American out of Santa Cruz, California. 10.6 points per game. Two All-Americans actually on this squad. Cameron Brink, number 22, along with Haley Jones. And they both last year were the Pac-12 Players of the Year. Step out three, Wahine Kapu a little short. You look at uh, Jones, she was the coach's pick as Player of the Year. And Brink was the media pick as Player of the Year, as well as Defensive Player of the Year in the Pac-12. All of them, four of them actually on the... Player of the Year watch list. They have that separated by guard, power, forward, center. So, yeah, this this team is pretty loaded. Loaded with McDonald's All Americans. It won't even play tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or won't play much. They get about it. Phillips will take it into the paint off the glass. Nice job by Deja Phillips. He's had 15 points in the first two games. 15 on uh, Friday's win against Grambling State. 15. And last night's defeat to Florida Gulf Coast. Nice drive, landed off the glass. There's Haley Jones. She'll try to set the tempo here. She did that on Friday in their first game against Grambling State. Scored 14 in the first half. She can play the one through four positions for this team. She is the returning All-American, and she'll get them going early and try to get people involved as the game moves along. One of the keys for Hawaii here tonight is a tall task against a team like this. There's Perez. Stuck in the uh, in the paint a little too long, but it's to cut down on their turnovers. Way too many turnovers. 99 turnovers through the first six games. And take a good look at Tara Van Devere, the goat, the all-time winningest coach in women's basketball history. That one the ball, the rebound, and the basket, and the foul. Big Ten coach in their 11th season. He's done a nice job. Hawaii picked to win the Big West this year, but when you talk to Coach Beeman, that's like a million miles away from right now. She just wants to get this team, get them better. Yeah, and they do that every preseason. It's Nani Cockett talked about in that pregame. Cameron Brink, of course, uh, famous for her own talent, but also for being the goddaughter of Dell and Sonia Curry. Yeah, Spent a lot of time with Steph Curry. The moms were roommates at Virginia Tech, basketball players. She's probably sick of hearing that story, but you got to get it out it's there, especially story. when you're a Warrior fan, you know. 
Ashley Toms in. She didn't play. Had a knee that's been bothering her. They'll need her defensively today. Good to see her out there. Well, we want to pass along. We just got information on the Rainbow Waikina volleyball team. They know where the goal is. That basket falls in the foul. So Haley Jones gets a deuce. She'll go to the free throw line and try to complete the traditional three-pointer. Hawaii will be going to the Stanford Regional. And they will be playing LSU. 7-0 run, make it 8-0 run for the Cardinal. They leave by five. So Hawaii LSU at Stanford, I'm assuming Friday. Wow, I, I like that. I'm okay with that, Scotty. Yeah. Keep in mind, ESPN has the rights to all women's volleyball now in the tournament. So, I'll have to watch that one on ESPN+. Plus. Here's a three, a little too strong, the long rebound. Comes off to the Cardinal, nice job there by Iriafa. Cardinal been getting into the paint here early between Brink and Haley Jones. Boy, he's got to do that work early, right? Better chest those cutters, Jackie David into the ball game, gives them a little strength inside. Fuller, the freshman guard, can't get that one to fall. The bounce pass a little too far out front by William, uh, by uh, Deja Phillips for Ashley Tom. We'll take a break, just under five, 10 five Stanford. Couldn't get that one to fall. Here come the Cardinals quickly pushing it up tempo. Long three is nothing but nylon. Nice three quarter by Prechtel. Rower, big family, Prechtel. Came off a concussion, didn't play on Friday. Played yesterday a little bit. Matthew right David's three-pointer won't fall. Long outlet pass off the glass. It doesn't fall. I mean, they've got to hit some of those, right, to be able to find some success here offensively. Perth playing professionally in Australia. Probably the most consistent post player. Full to the left hand, no good. Fight for the rebound. Here come the Cardinals again, the Cardinal. They pull him, brings it up underneath, reverse layup, no good foul though. Interesting, Lauren Betts played a little bit of club ball with Imani Perez, both from Colorado. So Perez, somewhat well versed defensively. That's his mom as the Michelle Jones. You know, you look at this roster for the Cardinals and everybody's parents played on some level, mom and dad. I think that's how you recruit, right, Scotty? You look, you look at the lineage. Doesn't hurt. McBee, will she try three? She does. Too strong. The rebound off to the Cardinal. It's one shot and done for Hawaii. Quickly, they bring it up. They'll try the three-pointer. And that one's knocked down by Prechtel. The Prechtel gets the three. Hawaii has a score of bucket in over six minutes. And there you go. Finally breaking the seal and getting Hawaii back on the board. Carolina falling in overtime against the Gamecocks. We see another three and at the buzzer. A lot of good volleyball players come out of there. Yeah, they're loaded. So still trying to find her game shape. Nice pass underneath. For the Wahine into the ball game. Runs the court well. That one's stolen away. Quickly bringing it up. Phillips looking for somebody to dish it off to. She will. Taking it up. Short jumper. For the youngster, Lily Wahine Kapu. It's a great extra move there, too. Wahine Kapu clapping for the ball. Was open on the three. Takes the mid-range jumper instead. Nice job by Lily. Rolled in with the left hand by Navar. But you look at the Stanford team, Lori. 65 straight weeks they have been in the top 10 of the AP poll. From 34 straight Pac-12 games. This year it'll be Oregon, Arizona, Stanford, and I believe Utah in the top 25 for the women's Pac-12. One on one. Shot clock down to three, to two, to one. Better get the shot off, and she... Shot clock down to seven, to six, to five, and that one is going to be capped by Brink. Make that block number 27 on the air, and then the three on the other side. They 
And that one to the glass. Well, they've had some turnovers that they, you know, aren't accustomed to. Back court for the Wahine Force and a few of those. Well, they're going with the same starting lineup they opened the game with, that being Stanford. And we'll see how long they, they go with that. 23-point deficit for Hawaii to begin the second half. Hawaii did a better job in the second quarter of cutting down on their turnovers. As the clock is at 5-4, there's a three-point shot, and there... Erie offense super physical in the first half, and the Wahine finally d up and getting an offensive foul call. Erie offense just took that ball away. Right in the paint underneath. There's a three-point shot. No good. Deja Phillips back over to Hoy. They'll take it underneath. Laid up. Brink looked much like Imani Perez as a freshman, right, in terms of it. She has definitely laid some muscle on that frame, now a junior. There's an easy basher by the Cardinal. Hoy handles it nicely. And that one's stolen away from Callen. Callen Spiller trying to take it up. No chance against Brink. And there's a long distance shot, nothing but money. First three of the ball game for Hannah Jump, the six foot senior, 54% last season in three point shots. And she's an amazing three point shooter. In fact, Vanderveers compares her to Curry. She's that good. Only one player in double digits to this point on either side. That's Prechtel with those four three-pointers in the first half. Yeah, the numbers aren't gaudy, right? No. 11 points a game for Brink, 10 for Jones. Shot clock again. One second, last minute shot. She will be <laughs> And that's the fourth block. And there's a turnover. Quickly, laying it up, and in. She's going to drive the paint, dishes it off. David for three, way off. That's an air ball. Final in transition. Missed assignment there, Jackie David out with him. Stafford hasn't scored in about two and a half minutes. Oh, that changes. Well, Vanderveer also has a tie to the Big West Conference. Yeah, right? Heidi Vanderveer's sister pretty much coached with her during those national team stints, winning that gold medal in 96. They had that great special on ESPN about the 96 team and Don Staley and no shot. They go back to Jones with the little right hand. And you're right, I think she's a bit frustrated. These shots typically go down for the Cardinal. The third time is the Cardinal point guard getting her hands on a couple shots there. Cardinal with 19 points off 15 Hawaii turnover. Stuck inside the big trees. Here's Orgy. She's going to take it all the way. Gets that one swatted. Another block. That's the fifth in the game for Cameron Brink. And Brink will try the long three. How close they are to the Curry family. There's Brink. Can't get down in the roll in the rebound by Spiller. Four and a half minutes left to play. Hawaii will get a little breather after today. They won't have to hit the court again as the bucket. She comes over to Hawaii. There's a lot in your brain, you know. So the scoring stuff, we know it's there. I think this has been a really good effort. It's looking more and more like they're going to drop to one and six. But they're a better team than that, don't you think, Lori? Yeah, I mean, they, that Oregon State game, I think, was a tough one to lose by one point. The end of regulation. Inside. There's Jackie David in a nutshell. You're going to try to move her, but she's not going to go very far. McDonald's All-American freshman, as you mentioned, from North Carolina. It's almost unfair. Six foot seven, Lauren Betts, but you take a beating though at six seven. Stafford will probably just dribble out the ball and pick up another win this time by 29 points, which will kind of hurt their uh, scoring margin of victory average and their overall average. But a final score here on a Sunday afternoon in Manoa, number two, Stafford. Too good.